Well, everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Alright, so we're playing Hand of Fate. We're going after the Queen of Plague. We're going to check out this treasure chest, see if we can get it. We're going to approach it, see if we can maybe not get poison gas or whatever it is that you get if you... Nope, poison gas. Huge failure. Uh oh, three pain cards. How unpleasant. Ten health per curse. Oh, that's only ten. Okay, and ten health. No huge deal here. Wow. I really messed that up. Okay, helpful priest. Give him half our food. Hopefully get the huge success card. Got it! Wow, cool. Um, okay. Twice the usual healing for our headman's blessing. And now we can ask for... No! No! I didn't want to ask for that at all! Not even a little! Oh my god! Wait a minute, call for the priest, right? Let's see if we can buy Wrath of the Old Gods. It's probably super expensive if it's even in here. And we have a lot of money, but we, we don't have a ridiculous... Okay, so buy blessings. It's not. Any hidden player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Okay, none of that stuff is... Remove curses. We don't have any curses. Buy food, though. We're gonna have to do that. I don't need that much food because I have the Explorer's Helmet. I go to the shop, see what the shop is offering. Maybe they have a weapon. I could go to Field of Poppies and have it just move me around and then I get the gold bonus for completing all the encounters. Mage Gloves, Saints Ray, oh, Mage Gloves. Oh, Rat Cleaver, definitely buying Rat Cleaver. It's often hard to determine the provenance of an artifact, but this cleaver was clearly forged after the first invasion. Okay, so now let's check out and make sure. I, I don't know that I equip that. Did I equip it? I want, I'm going to check. There, now we have the rat cleaver equipped. Okay, I have Berserker Armor equipped. Explorer's Helmet. Shield. No artifacts. Fleet Cuffs. Okay. Let's get out of here. A voyage across the ocean. Yeah, I could have asked... Oh, man, I could have asked that fairy... Or the... Even now, the cursed Gambler, gathers. of course. I'm gonna decline... Took some of my gold. I don't care. Help the locals. Refuse. The old graveyard. Heals me for free. Traveling Tinker. Pass it by. The marketplace. 
I'm surprised to find the recollection of a closed mind. Uh, I will bid half my gold. Memories. Oh wait, no, I don't. I don't need any food. The Queen of Plague. Okay, cool. Once more. So we got to the Queen of Plague with the Rat Cleaver. And sickness. Good, we've killed her. So I just have to kill that thing, apparently. See, with the right equipment, that was not hard. The rat kind will not easily recover from this loss. A million half-orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. Why do you still play? Why can't you walk away? All right. As a reward for defeating my Ratman Queen, you receive Thunderstrike, Heavy Armor, Emperor's Jewel, King of Skulls, the Shop, and Fire in the Deep. I have only begun to challenge you. Okay. The kings are woken. So now we have the King of Skulls activated. There's. It should be in the last row. There are literally, there's a queen and king of scales down here, and the king of plague. The undead king. Oh, wait a minute. I need to see what the curses are here. Uh, max health whenever the player gains a new curse. So that's negative 10 max health. Okay, performing a prone finisher inflicts 5 damage on the player. Because we have weak wrists. 5 times the hangman and 4 times call the shadows. All right, let's let's go in here. Look at the lore. The most fearsome undead warrior ever seen. He carries on one arm a shield that would crush most men, and with the other wields a two-handed sword with deadly ease. Because he's undead, so he can do that. All right, so let's deck builder. We've got some new encounters. We can we can put in more encounters and more equipment. Um, so no, not recommended stuff because we never do that. What we want to do is put in. We'll put another shop. I guess we put in surprise portal as well. And now we can add some equipment, which is good because we can add all that equipment we got. Uh, because we want Thunderstrike. Without a doubt. It's awesome. Uh, Emperor's Jewel, I'm not sure. And uh, Depth of, of Night or Might or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure. So, But we've got over everything we need now. So let's give it a shot. I won this pentacle longer ago than you can imagine. In those many years, I have only now begun to understand its secrets. Losing 10 health per curse could kill you pretty quickly. <laughs> Cursed treasure becomes far more important. <laughs> I guess far more dangerous. The King of Skulls is the last of the undead to have slipped from my grasp. You are the first to come close to him. Alright, after every third combat, the player draws three equipment cards and keeps one. That's an awesome thing if we can keep it going. Alright. The altar. I'm not going through the hanged man. If you go through the hanged man, you get a curse and a blessing. But I am gonna go I'm gonna go through food wagon and goblins. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs.
Because, you know, goblins. Good. I'm glad we ended up somewhere that isn't going to activate that trap anytime soon. Okay. Where's your friend? There we go. So we'll gain a little bit of that. We'll gain a little bit from Food Wagon. And we'll be in good shape. There we go. See, that that's good shape. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. Previously, okay, the hanged man underestimated you. Then, one day while traveling through the for a forest, you come across a man hanged by his ankle. Now, however, inquire about his current predicament. He explains that he does not want any help. Way, a great annoyance is dealt with. A curse. Can only hope. I have accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. So we get a blessing card. When the player chooses for multiple equipment or game cards, the choices available are increased by one. Rebalance that next time. The player loses five gold for every fail and ten gold for every huge failure card. Okay, fine. And we lost ten max health because we got a new curse. Ghost of the Sea! We play for a token now. So we draw a curse card for her. The first hit in every combat inflicts triple damage. Uh, and we got like, ten, 10 less health. Marketplace? Okay. Bit half my gold. Why not? And a huge failure, so I lose a bunch of money. Traveling healer. Nobody cares. All right, sea voyages. Sail away and see what you will find. Fire in the deep. Veterans of the old wars spin tales of large, powerful creatures built of rock and flame. Not all of their attacks can be countered by mere mortals. These monsters were exiled by the king to live deep beneath the ground in the caves they originated from. It took years of warfare to enforce the exile, but they haven't been seen on the surface for a generation. So, uh, in a cave system, dark and deep, you stumble upon some strange flaming creatures surrounding an old man. They turn to face you as the old man cringes in terror. So we're going to attack the creatures immediately. The creatures begin to lumber towards you threateningly. Is this three of lava golems? Or do we just get one of lava? Or is it just how many? How many lava golems are I fighting? It didn't tell me. Just one? That's one is not much of a challenge. If you don't. Stupidly stand there while they do stuff. There we go. We killed the lava golem. Or golem. Uh, golem, I suppose. Alright, thank you, stranger, the old man says. I've traveled these tunnels for years, but I haven't seen lava go golems this close to the surface since I was a boy. Two game cards. 25 health. 15 gold. Now that you've slain this lot, I hope the rest of you, their kind, learn to stay underground where the king exiled them. You and the old man head out of the tunnels together. The card's token is now yours. 
All right. So when we come back, Do you chasing after the Skeleton King. Now. Bye, everybody.